Hello everyone, this is today's video analysis for May 30th, 2019. Today we're looking at the USD, JPY, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen for today's trade analysis. Now, we can see that this currency pair is reaching a significant resistance point over the past three days, at least four days maybe. We have found resistance right around the green zone towards the bottom of the chart, 109.60, 109.75, that's this area where the current market price is holding as resistance. Follow it back in time, we can see some historical support here as well in this same area, 109.60, 109.75, black circle, left-hand side of the chart. So we know historically, this is a significant decision area for the market. Historical support back here, and over the past four days, finding resistance. Now the fifth day, challenging that green shaded area. So one of two things is typically what we look to happen around these colored shaded areas. One is it breaks above it and continues a bullish momentum. Two is that it bounces off of it and turns back around and goes back down in the previous direction. Uh, a couple of interesting things about the dollar yen right now. We have uh, a support low within the downtrend here and we have a second support low within the downtrend here. So we have somewhat of a double bottom that has been created here for the dollar yen. So if that du double bottom continues to hold true and we look for further signs of reversal, of course, the next thing we're looking for would be for the market to get above this green shaded area. We're going to look for it to get above here and continue its bullish run if the, the potential double bottom holds true as a point of reversal. Secondly, uh, if that doesn't hold true and we suddenly see infusions of sellers, sellers become, become more predominant than buyers, uh, we'll look forward to bounce off and go back down, challenge the last support low, and maybe even break and continue the downtrend. So that's what we're kind of watching for here, 109.60.75, one of these two potential actions. Now we can use uh, the dollar as part of that uh, discussion as we go through the day. There's news coming out 8.30 a.m. Eastern U.S. time that may uh, improve the chances of one of these two things happening, dollar falling, we would look for this to head back down to the yellow zone or potentially lower dollar rise after U.S. news. We may look for the breakout above 109.75 and continuation higher. Let's take it down to the four hour time frame. Doesn't really change any of that. You can just really see what's been happening over the past couple of days. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Uh, but the, the theory is still the same. Even one of these two things is going to happen. You're either going to look for sellers come back in, drive it back underneath 109.60 and send it back down or the buyers retain control, it finally gets back above this green zone, begins using it as uh, a support. You know, that's often what we're kind of looking for to give us better risk reward, is that not only do we look for it to get back above, we look for the dip back down to that support, uh, giving us better risk reward. Uh, at that point, if we were to take the long above the green zone, our stop loss would then be below the green zone so that we know what the risk would be if we decide to go long above the green zone. Of course, the opposite is true as well. If we go short under the green zone, our stop loss will be above and that way we limit the risk on any uh, shorts that we take. So we're watching for that. I think for me at the current moment, I need to get outside this boundary of this green zone above 109.75 before I would consider a long or below 109.60 before I consider a short again for the dollar yen today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.